see what you've really got, Delilah. work. She's been busy. Daughter of Jessamy. Heir to the Empire of the Isles. I call out to you from the void. I call you with ochre from Morley. Carmine beetle shells. Sir Conan Lazarite. Viridian bile. The tones of your flesh I tempered with Pandician chalk. The same loom that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. Emily, you cannot ignore me. My power is too deep. My reach too long. Brush touches paint. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Caldwell. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. Bright mornings in the pub. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the river. Image strikes the eye. I touches the mind. Mind touches the world. And your lost mother, for your caretaker, Callista. I feel your fear in the night, your hunger to learn, to become someone important. My hunger too, my fear. You are becoming mine. We are nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. Make room for me. Give in to me, Emily. Give in to me now! Paint flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in these bones long enough, sweet young girl. It is complete. I am... What? What's happening? This is all wrong! What am I becoming? Outsider's blood! Is this some trick? Go! No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer. 
one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Coldridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now. <laughs>